everyone, welcome to Immigration Tube. My name is Sierra from Visa Place, where we keep you updated with the latest news in immigration and try our very hardest to help you throughout your immigration matters. So I highly recommend hitting that subscribe button up there so you're notified when we have a new video uploaded that could possibly help you out. In this video, I will be talking about adjusting your status from an E2 investor visa to a green card. So let's get started. already familiar with an E-2 visa to the United States, it's a non-immigrant visa for applicants from a treaty country to invest in a substantial amount into a U.S. business, practice, or office. Oftentimes, you are asked what benefits come out of investing in the U.S. through an E-2 visa. One of the greatest perks of successfully obtaining an E-2 visa is that you could potentially apply for a green card down the road if you'd like to stay long term. Once you've received a green card, you by definition are a permanent resident that's allowed to work and live in the U.S. There are a few options available when it comes to adjusting your status to a green card. Your first option is an EB-5 green card. If you can make an investment of $1 million or $500,000 in some cases in the U.S., a business that's created a certain number of jobs, you can apply for what's called an EB-5 green card. These jobs that have been created uh, must be created directly by your business, they must be considered full-time, and they must be maintained for the next two years if your business is considered a trouble business. Next option, you've probably heard us talk about it before, but family sponsorship. If you have any relatives that are U.S. citizens, they may be able to sponsor you to the United States. Next option is employment sponsorship. If your employer is willing to file a PERM labor certification with the Department of Labor, you may be able to qualify for an employment-based green card. A PERM labor certificate is the first step when applying for an employment-based green card. This system was designed to make sure foreign workers aren't taking jobs that could be filled by qualified U.S. workers. And last but not least, you could apply for an EB-1 green card. An EB-1 green card is for individuals who hold extraordinary skills, are an outstanding researcher or professor, or a multinational manager or executive. If you or someone you know has any more questions or concerns about adjusting your E-2 visa to a green card, please contact Visa Place today so we can work with you throughout your immigration matters. We have helped many people successfully obtain a green card in the United States and we can't wait to work with you.